Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Yon's Battle, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to base the absolute bare minimum and still make it look good. An important thing to think about when deciding how you will base your mini is what color is the model and if it is made up of predominantly light or dark colors. This base is very dark in color, and so a light colored mini is going to stand out really nicely on it. A dark colored miniature could still look good, but your mini could blend in a little and be harder to spot. Here is the paint I'll be using. You can find a list of materials in the description below. First things first, don't buy Games Workshop's Astro Granite or Sterling Mud Texture Paste. They are a ripoff. Do this instead. Mix together some black acrylic art paint, drywall spackle, and fine grain sand. Mix this up, and then you'll have a quick and easy texture paste. To find sand, you can either steal it from a beach or find it in the floral section of an arts and crafts store. I then spread this mixture onto the base using a wet paintbrush because the texture paste won't want to stick to the damp bristles. I patted it down flat. I let that dry overnight, and then I dry brush the base with some Vallejo Stonewall Gray. This will make it look like freshly fallen ash and rock. And it'll add some nice contrast between the black texture paste. Then the secret weapon, some grass tufts. I am using some yellow tufts from a Spanish company called Green Stuff World. You could also find tufts sold by Army Painter or a Games Workshop, and can be found online or sometimes in hobby stores. These tufts add instant value to the base. They look great and help sell the realism of the model. If you don't want to bother doing anything fancy, sticking a couple of these here and there will do wonders for your bases. These tufts are self-adhesive, but I find a drop of super glue is needed to really make them stick. Wow! In almost no time, the bases are finished. The only thing left to do is to paint the rim of the base. You may want to pick an accent color off of your model, but black will always look smart. And boom, three ridiculously easy bases completed. We make tutorials like these every week, and if you like what you see and you want some more, you can help us out by supporting us over on Patreon. And you'll get some behind the scenes and exclusive content as well. If you want something a little bit more advanced, you could try these Chaos Blood Gutter bases. Check this video out and lots more like it on our basing playlist where you will find dozens of unique and awesome bases. But that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.